You know, there's a Red Sox fan wherever you go, but there's also a Yankees fan wherever you go. Yeah, there's probably one of you dinks in the room right now, wasn't it? Yeah, where are I? See, there he is. We'll talk to you a little later. You know, the strange thing is, I go to New York, they give me a hard time, like, you're a Red Sox fan? I go, let me explain Boston people to you. I grew up in Boston. I'm loyal. I'm a Red Sox fan. I'm sure if I grew up in New York, you know, I'd be a Dodgers fan. <laughs> Welcome back to Dirty Wire TV. I'm Christian Fourier. And I'm Jennifer Manley. We're here at the Dockside in Malden, and we are with Malden native and local comedian Dave Russo. Yeah. Now, I hear you've spent a lot of time here at this establishment. <laughs> well, actually, uh, you know, actually 18 years ago at the end of this week, uh, the Dockside in Malden opened up. And, uh, yeah, so this has been a fixture in Malden. It's actually the sports bar where to go. Uh, if you're from north of Boston, this is where you go. They have, like, over 45 TVs, and they have... They have the package with the, uh, the March Madness and the Major League Baseball and hockey, NHL. And, uh, yeah, me and the boys, we always come here. Uh, the owner, Jack, actually sponsors uh, my hockey team, which is nice. So i got to throw well, that out there. That's why you're sitting here. There's actually two locations, right? Malden and Wakefield. And did you know I grew up in Wakefield? Yes, so me and my friends are a fixture at the Wakefield location. You know what? I'm going to have to go over there. Uh, no, the, uh, the Wakefield actually has been open about seven years. Uh, and, and actually, Jack's actually opened up an agave uh, restaurant back here in Malden. It's... Uh, it's a Mexican restaurant, and uh, we're actually going to have uh, our own tequila bar, which is kind of nice. So get ready, security, and uh, in Malden. Uh, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be great Mexican food, and um, it's going to be a little different. It's going to the prices are going to be uh, much better than in town. And the good thing is is that we have a little bit of entertainment there. And uh, once a month, I'll be contacting the comedians from a Giggles Comedy Club in Saugus to come down and do some shows at, at the Agave. So. Uh, yeah, this uh, this place like, but back to back to Malden, so if I can. ADD. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying here, hold this. Yeah. <laughs> so I can ADD for a second. Uh, <laughs> what is your connection? I mean, is this a place that you did you work here? Were you washing dishes? How do they? Well, how you, did you, you just drank the, here, the right? Yeah, like, not, did you just drink it so much that the bar still had your name well, on fair it? Enough, fair enough. Fair enough. You're very 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 close. I grew up right around the corner, so I could uh, I could come here and stay as late as I want and not have to worry about getting in trouble with the police. Because you all know I have a lot of respect for the police. My my grandfather was a criminal. <laughs> and so uh, no, but it's it's. Pretty much, uh, I'm involved with the community, and the Dockside and Mall is huge with the community. They've raised almost, you know, over a half a million dollars for the for the YMCA, built a brand new YMCA. And anything that goes on in the Mall community, uh, Jack and the Dockside, they're they're involved. In this is your My local ho local bar. Everybody comes here. Is it kind of like the Malden version of Cheers? Absolutely. Everybody knows your name, and which could be a good thing and a bad thing sometimes. <laughs> but uh, but no, it's every everyone's friendly. I mean, the, some of the staff that's been here, like some of the bartenders, they've been here since the inception, since the open. So, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty much my cheers. And, so, uh, you talked about some entertainment coming to Agave. Well, you're an entertainer yourself, right? Yes. All was, right. I you're on Dirty Water TV. Uh, Let's yes. hear some plugs. Okay. First of all, I actually thought this was a surprise party for me. I know you have a birthday. I thought it was a surprise party for me. I got my birthdays. And I've never had a surprise. But, well, I've had I one. do have a birthday, but you it's do, in right? September. All right. <laughs> I was like, did I not know like you have a birthday coming up? Keep it a secret. <laughs> okay, I thought you were talking about it. My, well, my birthday's a little closer than that. I actually thought this was a surprise party for me. I've never it had, is a surprise. Yeah. I've never had a surprise. Well, I've had one surprise party. Some people like to call it an intervention. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the guy from West Coast was a little slow on that. We'll get that. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was looking at the, one, of, one of the 45 TVs going, this guy is killing me over here. <laughs> All right, so let's so Obviously, I've seen your uh, your show. You did that. You were actually uh, at the Paradise Rock Club last time we saw you for the Nightlife Awards. People ask me, like, when you do the Super Bowl at the media day, they go, "What's the stupidest question you've ever you've ever been asked at a media day?" And I was like, for you, I'm like, okay, what's the best? What's your go-to joke? If you if you had like 20 seconds. Okay, you gotta die with this joke. I'm putting you on the spot <laughs> okay, now no a little problem. bit, and, like, and, and it can't be why the chicken crossed the road, and it's gotta be clean. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. So, your best joke. I got you. Well, I, I was told it was a man who invented the bra. Now, I didn't think it was any possible way a guy could have invented the bra, because I figured like if we did, we would have graded it differently. You know, because like a D would have been an A. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we never would have waited 50 years to move that hook from the back of the bra to the front of the bra. I'll tell you that right now, right? It would have been much easier. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. This guy's good. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have too much time. I actually have a limo waiting for me outside tonight. Well, I'm, I'm the driver. Okay, I'm just doing jokes. Uh, but you asked me about what I was going to plug. I'm actually pumped about this. Do we have my CD here? Uh, oh. Thank you. See, I didn't fumble. You are uh, headlining a comedy festival, right? Well, actually, uh, in July, July 9th, I was the inaugural uh, Boston Comedy Festival winner. And in July 9th, the Plymouth Rock Comedy Festival. You can go on PlymouthRockComedyFestival.com. I'm hosting um, an, an, the inaugural comedy competition. Now, what if guys, people just want to hire you? 
just for their party, their bar mitzvah, whatever, their surprise party. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how, is there a way they can get in touch with you? Absolutely, and I appreciate you asking me that. Uh, www.daverusso.net. That's daverusso.net, not daverusso.com. That, that's a plumber in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of true, it really is. Uh, but yeah, daverusso.net, and um, and I'm looking forward to watching myself on uh, Dirty One TV because the last time I definitely looked taller on cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and right now we're the same height, so. Yeah, it's, you're slouching down so, a little bit. I'm actually slouching <laughs> down. Right yeah. Now, so. All right, Dave Rooster, everybody.